Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Dancer and today we are jumping back into Silver Garden Zoo uh, where last time we got the uh, Thompson Gazelle and we um, might need to fix some things about them because they are very stressed and it's not looking good because they are attracting protesters and our happiness is already suffering. Um, so we're going to need to take a look at that. Uh, but we're also going to be getting in the hippopotamus and the Indian rhino today. I have made an executive decision. We're going to get them both in today. Hopefully it doesn't kick us. Uh, but I think we can do some awesome areas for them. And I've got a great idea in my head and it's going to be awesome and I am excited. Um, now we have a couple of animals stressed, which is not good. Uh, but I think, again, it's just because we have a lot of new animals out in this area, which is attracting a lot of people over here. Um, but once we get going in, like, other areas, I think it will be fine. Um, it'll just take a little while for them to, um, get there. Um, oh, you know what? A couple episodes ago, I did not connect this. Let's connect this. Um, I was actually, I saw that, um, on stream the other day, uh, but then I don't think I had the funds to fix it because we were very negative, uh, but we figured that all out now. We are, um, doing pretty good with money. Um, it looks like our elephants are having a blast out here. Um, are people donating for them? I don't think they are, which is not helping our money situation at all. Let's see. There are a decent amount of people up here, so we should get money up here. I think it's just like their location and how far away they are from everything else. Um, where people just aren't really coming up here and donating. Um, so that's a bit unfortunate. Um, but I guess it makes sense. We still have to figure out what we're doing with this. Um, but I also kind of like it half open. I don't know. That could just be me. Every single time that the train goes over these stations, it notifies me. And it's getting really annoying really fast. Um, but we are going to be adding the Indian elephant. Nope, not the Indian elephant. The Indian rhinoceros. And we will be adding in the hippopotamus um, that's going to be right here so that people on the train will also get a good view of them we're going to do an underwater viewing platform for them and um i to think what else we're going to do maybe an above ground one as well um, but it's going to be really fun really cool i hope you guys um, are excited um i'm excited this is probably going to be one of the longest builds yet on the channel um just a reminder that this building over here that have the gharials and the saltwater crocodiles it this building took me like nine hours to build um there's no reason it should have taken me that long i guess i was just building it really really slow um but this is only like a quarter of the size of what the other area needs to be so we'll be getting quite the um the build time lapse today and i hope you guys are ready i am excited um i'm just making sure that these guys have enough terrain area um oh they're actually getting low on the water um base which if we need to we can always cut this little island down um, but i think they are good for right now um also i just want to quickly mention that um, looking at the previous couple of videos, about 70% of the people that are watching the videos are not subscribed. Um, so if you do enjoy my content, please do subscribe and give the videos a like. It does really help me out. Um, and yeah, it, it's just nice to see that people are watching and enjoying my content. Um, this is really sad. One of our buffaloes died. Um... How old are you? Wondering who are... Wait. Oh, red. Does that mean you can't give... We'll have to look for a new in or, uh, African buffalo. Let's do that quickly before we hop into the time lapse. 
Um, I already skipped it. African buffalo right there. And yes, we're gonna get a bunch of Thompson gazelles in there as well. Um, your stats are all right. See if there's anything else. Nope. Okay, we'll we'll go with him. Um, just kidding. No, we won't. He's already gone. Uh, we'll check again after the time lapse, and I'm gonna change the time. Oh no, I guess we're good. Um, there we go. That's a bit better. Okay, yeah, we're gonna hop into the time lapse. We'll check again after the time lapse for a new male African buffalo. Um, why? Where? Are the... What are you? You shouldn't be screaming because you're leaving. Okay, yeah, we're we're just gonna hop into a time lapse. We're gonna get this area all done and prettied up, and I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. And uh, yeah, prepare for a long time lapse because that is uh, what it's going to be.
Okay, so it turns out when you take a month off from the game, um, you kind of lose sight um, on the visions of what you had originally planned. Um, so I decided just to end the time lapse here. Um, I wasn't actually feeling all that inspired and stuff about this whole area. Um, I know, I mean, I like it a lot, but I definitely think we can add more to it and have um, it looking better. Uh, but just right now, I don't really know how to do that. So I wanted to just end the time lapse because um, we're probably going to be changing this all around um, eventually. And why waste your guys' time when we're going to be editing it um, later? So yeah, I do really like the idea of having like the main path here or the, the double main path here. Um, and yeah, so really all we need to do to connect this up now is this little bit right here, which will be either, oh yeah, we already said we're going to do the Gemsbach over here. Not sure. We'll probably do it over on this side, um, just so there's a little bit of variation, um, on the sides. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to like take a minute to like look at the views, like, okay, but if they didn't update the water like they did, you could see so much more in like the underwater ground. But you can like, if you look right here closely, you can make out that hippo. Especially for underwater, then you can really see it. Um, but yeah, we do have to add like a bunch of water. Oh, boy, weird. That was um, interesting. I want to add a bunch of water plants here. Um, but if we take a peek at our hippopotamus coverage we're already like halfway through um and we only have two trees in i was gonna add a bunch of foliage to make this area look nice um uh, but then i saw that they are already like halfway through and that's not good um and then over here with our rhinos 
Um, oh, I should mention, I do really like this building here, um, where it's just like enough to get you out of the sh um, out of the sun, and it works as um, a spot for the animals to get rest. I'm I haven't played this game in a month, so um, sorry for the terrible air, um, the, the things. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you can just like come over to the edge. We do have to put a railing on here, obviously. Uh, but yeah, they can just come on over to the edge and watch them sleep. Um, that's really cool. And then same over on the rhino side, like right here. Like look how cool that is. I don't know. That, that works for me. Um, but yeah, then you also have like a pretty good sight. I'm just trying to get to like eye level. You have a pretty good sight of the whole habitat here. Um, I, I I want to make this look much better and add more detail and stuff. Uh, but as I said, I just don't really know how right now. We have to add some garbages. Um, maybe let's do that here. Um, what garbages are we even using over here? Classic? New world bin? Okay. It's been so long. I do apologize for that. Um, just kind of random break that I took um, with no explanation. Uh, but I am back feeling refreshed and ready to build. Um, I already have an amazing idea. Or oh, Why aren't you snapping to path? Not snap. Can we just not snap, please? No. Shift. No. Um. Okay. Well, that's really dumb. I guess we'll um. Put two bins on this side then. Like so, since it's uh making me do that. Um. But yeah, I am feeling refreshed. I have a great idea for the next area of the zoo. Um, which we're actually going to be stepping away from the elephant excursion um, next episode. And we're going to start... Oh, that was a little glitch there. We are going to start down the gorilla excur... Oh, it's El Extravagant Elephant. Why do I always... I can never remember this name. Ever. Okay, but anyway. We're going to be starting the gorilla excursion. Um, and that will actually split up into the tree top, tree top trail. Try saying that one three times fast. Um, yeah, we're gonna get this extended, and I am actually really excited. I have an amazing idea. Um, I did ask the Discord um, what animal to see first, um, but the animal that was suggested is actually already in this building. Um, we have them right here, the crocodiles. Um, so we won't be adding that into the, um, the tree top, tree top trail or the gorilla excursion. Um, but I have a, an amazing idea. Um, it's just really, it's going to make you, it's going to transport you to the tree top trail area. Now, I just want to do something here quickly. If we go to um, South America trees and we pick, like, what are the tall ones? Like, Brazil, Brazil nut is a pretty tall tree, uh, but I feel like there are taller trees. And I want to make sure that we're going to be sinking this down enough because uh, it's got a ways to go down um, so that we don't block any sight lines. And here, nope, those are not the trees that I was looking for. Um, almost. You know, it'd just be easier if I used the filter by continent, South America, and, okay, here we go. We should find it shortly now. Um, where is it? Wait, what? Is it? Right, here it is. Okay, so... We're going to be using this tree, and like, look how tall it is. And if we want you to be able to stand here and see the elephant house, that's got to, we got to like, so if we put that here, 
And now we go back down to here. It like blocks the sight line. So this tree, press X, it will have to be down like there. Yeah. So that's a ways that we have to dig that down. I'm going to keep that there. It's kind of like a reference point. That area has to be that far down. Um, and then I also have another idea for here. I know I already said it, um, but in so the way this is going to work is the um, gorilla excursion is going to kind of follow this area over here and like come back in and connect like over here. And then the treetop trail is going to come this way. We're going to have like water in the middle here. We're gonna do a boat, a river boat. I think that would be really cool. And you'll get another view of the animals, which I think will really um, make this zoo nice and exciting. Uh, so that is the future plans. Um, I hope you guys are excited. Stay tuned. Um, we'll definitely be coming back over here at a later date. What habitat? Oh, oh no, yeah. Um, we're gonna need to edit our staff as well but by the looks of it we are making money we're almost at 60,000 again which is nice and that's only from uh this little bit here um playing in unpaused um but yeah i hope you guys are excited as excited as i am um so please stay tuned and yeah we will catch you all in the next episode bye Oh wait, I should probably give you like a good goodbye screen. Okay, yeah, here. Bye!